Okay, so let me show you how to take the existing, the old style cheek riser plate off and put the new style on. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a 1 8 T-handle or hex key. You're gonna remove these two flat head cap screws. So let's go ahead and do this here real quick. Front one out. Back one out. Remove the old cheek riser plate. Now if you notice on the new version, there's two sets of holes in the pocket on the bottom will allow this base to slide back and forth depending on whether or not you want your cheek riser further towards the back of the rifle or in the middle position more in a neutral position. So let's go ahead and install it in the back position here and I'm going to use the two included button head cap screws to attach the new style cheek riser plate. I'm going to go ahead and get the thread started. up and now you're good to go now one thing I will recommend before you put the uh, cheek riser pad on the cheek riser plate put it on your rifle verify you got it in the right location then after you have then go ahead and apply the heat I'll show you in the next video and how you apply this thing right here okay so when you apply your cheek riser pad to the cheek riser plate you typically want to get this surface hot and I got this little propane torch right here so let me kind of show you how you want to do it. A little gas coming out. All right. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to put heat on it here for about 10 seconds. All right. Turn this back off. Peel off the backing. What I normally do is start in the middle. Yeah. 